You know when you have a stuffy nose and all you can think about are the nights you've taken smooth breathing for granted? Our bodies do a lot of work to keep us comfortable every day. So, in the spirit of staying grateful, let's take a look at a couple of these amazing things the human body does every minute. Starting with our eyes, which are constantly relaying loads of visual info to the brain. The cornea acts like an entrance gate, skillfully bending light. The iris, or the colorful part, adjusts the light dose, and the lens focuses the rest onto the retina. This last one then transforms all that light into electrical signals that are sent to the brain for interpretation. Sounds like a lot of work, but it all gets done in milliseconds. This means that in just a single minute, our brain handles somewhere around 600 million bits of visual data. More than half our bodies are made of water. 55% if you're a lady and 65% if you're a gentleman, to be precise. To make sure this water balance is always in check, our bodies come equipped with a hydration monitor. It's always looking into how much water we're losing through things like sweating or even breathing. If as little as 1% of the water quantity goes missing, we'll start to feel thirsty. We also wouldn't be here if it weren't for those hearts pumping in our chests. Well, actually, just one heart per person. The speed at which it pumps can change depending on how fit you are, your feelings, your size, and even if you're doing a new yoga pose that requires a bit more effort. On average, doctors say adults have anywhere between 60 to 100 heartbeats per minute when they're resting. Now, the fitter you get, the less pressure you put on your heart. And you might even end up having a heart rate as low as 40 beats per minute. Each time this organ gets a little thump, it's pushing about 2.4 ounces of blood around your body. If your resting heart rate is 80 beats per minute, your heart's pushing 1.5 gallons of blood every 60 seconds. Ever wonder how fast your body bounces back after losing blood? We've got on average about 10 pints of it in our adult bodies. When one of them is lost, our bodies start working hard to replace it. And it's faster than you'd imagine. Within 24 hours, the volume loss is replaced. And within a few weeks, we're as good as new. That's because every second, our bodies make some 2 million fresh red blood cells. That's 120 million every minute. When it comes to white blood cells and platelets, the process is even faster. Our breathing mechanism is fascinating, too. For grown-ups, the regular breath count is about 12 to 20 breaths per minute. Infants, however, have a faster rate of 30 to 60 breaths per minute. When you take in air, it requires the effort of an entire team. Your brain's command center sends signals down to your diaphragm, telling it to flatten out. Your ribs and abdominal muscles adjust to allow your chest to expand, pulling the air into your lungs. Breathing out is a bit easier. Your used-up air gets pushed out by your elastic lungs. But when you're putting in a bit more effort, that's when your abs help a bit more in the exhale process. Now, when it comes to reading, our brains can amp up that skill, sometimes reaching up to a thousand words per minute. If you do the math, it means your brain can read a 300-page book in just two and a half hours. One interesting feature about how our brain processes reading is that it doesn't necessarily do it in a straight line. In fact, our eyes do these unique movements called saccades. They're quick jumps across the text, back and forth. Sometimes it's a big leap, other times a tiny hop. They help us soak in tons of information fast, and they happen a bunch of times every second. How big or small the jump is depends on how good we are at reading and how familiar we are with the topic at hand. Do you want to find out more about a variety of topics, like science, pop culture, or history? Well, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. Our skin is the largest organ we own and is perpetually shedding around 30,000 cells every 60 seconds. Most of the time we don't even notice, but our faces and bodies are constantly removing layers. Yep, a lot of that dust around your house is you. It's a month-long journey for those fresh skin cells to pop up to the surface, and that process speeds up or slows down with age. During our 60s, or even later, it can take up to 8 weeks for cell turnover, and that buildup of skin makes your complexions look a bit dull. 
Thankfully, there are a lot of products we can use these days to help with dry skin, like moisturizers and serums. You can't talk without your tongue. Well, you can, technically, but most people won't understand a word you're saying. On any day, our tongue teams up with our lips and teeth to turn throat sounds into words that make sense. The tongue itself is flexible and speedy, capable of letting out more than 90 words a minute, using a variety of over 20 moves. While we can vocalize without using the tongue, we need it to pronounce consonants like T, D, L, and R. Or if you're a pirate, R. This important organ is the same reason parrots can so easily imitate us, though most of them have no idea what they're saying. These birds have a thick tongue, and even though they've got fewer muscle moves, it helps them mimic human speech quite accurately. So be careful what you say around them. Humans also blink 15 to 20 times each minute. It might not sound like a lot, but it does mean we're spending about 10% of our awake time with our eyes shut. For many years, scientists believed that blinking served a single purpose – to keep our eyes moist. That's mostly why we produce tears, by the way. And with the help of our eyelids, this creates a little cover for the whole eyeball, preventing it from feeling itchy. However, blinking does more. A study from the past decade pointed out that when we blink, our brain hits a mini-reset button. It powers down some parts linked to vision and attention. And since attention messes with how we perceive time, blinks could be like these time travel moments for our brains. Or mini power naps, if you like. Now, on average, people have around 35 to 48 thoughts per minute. It depends on a variety of things, like what we've been through, how we're feeling, and even where we are. When it comes to thought formation, we do know that brain cells can communicate. But understanding exactly how our ideas pop up in our minds is still a bit of a mystery. Our brain features many neurons, these fascinating cells shooting out electrical charges to talk to each other. It's these neurons that spill out brain chemicals called neurotransmitters. Think of it as passing notes that create electric signals. And as these signals surf through thousands of neurons, like a wave, thoughts pop up in our heads. Now, each time you munch on a snack, you're fueling up this power plant, which is your body. One single calorie from your food is around 4,200 energy units called joules. If you're eating 2,000 calories a day, you're transforming that into almost 6,000 joules every minute. And here's how everything happens. After you eat, the food follows its journey through your mouth, down into your stomach, and makes its way into small pieces in your bloodstream. Imagine tiny delivery trucks carrying oxygen and other useful substances to your cells. Once inside, these cells have many factories inside called mitochondria. They're responsible for turning those deliveries into adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. This is our cell's energy currency. It's used to make more cells, it helps us move, or even send messages through electrical impulses to other cells. Come to think of it, this sure makes me want to be nicer to my body for all it does. How about you? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.